I want to be careful how I answer that. Um, but I would say, well, you know, we, we know that people are relatively well protected for several months for post-vaccination, particularly uh, individuals who are not immunocompromised or have other chronic conditions that, you know, preclude them from uh, forming antibodies. Um, so I would say, yeah, if you are fully vaccinated, probably you need to be revaccinated a month later, you know, and, you know, and, and, and that, that would be over vaccination. But at the same time, uh, we are, everybody's uh, trying to project and collecting data about how lasting immunity it is, and in particular in certain populations, high risk populations, try to understand what is the best um, timing for a second dose. So, um, you know, I think vaccination in general, particularly first dose, is, is highly recommended. And, and, and we just heard about the consequences of the public health consequences not doing that. And, you know, the work is ongoing to try to determine what is the best time to give a, a booster or which um, subset of patients may need additional doses. Uh, yeah, but, you know, we should follow public health uh, official recommendations regarding vaccination and doing additional doses early on may not add protection. And there is always small, almost negligible, but small risk of adverse events. And also uh, they need to have enough doses to vaccinate everybody in the US and in other countries, because as we saw very clearly, uh, we need to treat this as a global problem. It's not just a US problem. And we know that many countries are still waiting and not have enough doses of vaccine to vaccinate.